Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Conversations with Candace. I'm Candace, and we're going to be conversing today. We're talking about two things today while I flat iron my hair. We're talking a little bit about my uh, natural hair journey that led me back to uh, texturizing my hair and uh, my home getting broken into. So if you have some wine, grab it, cause this is gonna be a doozy. Let's get started. So about a year ago, I decided that I wanted to transition back to natural. Um, you know, we're all born natural. And then somewhere along the lines, our mamas were like, relax our hair. Um, I decided I wanted to do that. I wanted to see my curl pattern. I, I wanted to see what my hair was like in its like natural state. It just felt like the right thing to do. Natural hair is like embraced now. I'm almost 35. It just seemed like the right thing to do. So, um, about a year ago, I stopped relaxing my hair and I just let my hair grow out. In the first few months, you know, it was a little bit tricky trying to figure out how to manage my relaxed hair with my uh, new growth. Um, but I did it and I did it with protective styles, mainly like crochets and stuff. And then that's when I started the braidless crochet um, as well. It worked out really well um, until I got about five inches of new growth. And I discovered my curl pattern. It's like a 4A. Um, I was really excited about that. But just like being in a place where I could probably do a big chop, but I wasn't going to do that. Um, and still trying to manage my ends. It was just team too much. So a few weeks ago, I decided that I wanted to probably relax my hair again. Just go back to relax hair. It was much easier. Um, and it wasn't going to cause me as much grief. But I was like, man, do I want to go bone straight? I don't really like when my hair is bone straight. Plus, even though my ends are relaxed, um, they aren't bone straight. So what I did was I got a relaxer. Um, I compared it to what a texturizer was. And I was like, it's basically a relaxer um, that is not as strong. So I got a relaxer, put it on my roots, and only left it on for like three minutes. Um, it texturized my hair without straightening it all the way, which made it more manageable. And that was great. That's exactly what I wanted. So, um, I'm still wearing the protective styling. Uh, my hair is like this because I went to bed last night with it wet and tied down and it is just a matted mess. But to flat iron my hair today, I have in this spray bottle, a mixture of hot water, this shea nut butter from now solutions and um this grow strong uh cantu shea butter treatment and i just mix all that up i like the way those things fill in my hair and i wanted to flat iron my hair for two reasons to see you know what it looks like flat ironed and straight and see how long it's gotten um also because i haven't put heat on my hair in a while i ain't gonna lie i also be feeling like sometimes when my scalp is itchy that i have lice because I work with kids and I wanted to put some heat on my head to kill the lice. I know I probably don't have lice, y'all. Like, I, I, I'm 99% sure that I don't. But it makes me feel better. So, don't judge me. Anywho, the flat iron that I have is just an old Andy Ceramic Multi-Heat Flat Iron. I've had this for years. I really haven't been flat ironing my hair um, in years, honestly. Um, but that's just the one I have. It's not special. I hear they have like one called a Babyless Pro that's really, really good, um, but it's also expensive. And so I haven't gotten that. Oh, that's just oil. I know that my ends need to be trimmed and I'm gonna get that done. Um, but it, I just need to figure out my life, find a stylist who can trim my ends and get my hair back um, to a healthier state. This spray bottle is a little tough to use because the oil one of the oils is a solid, so it's hard to spray out. All right, boo. Listen, let's get to the the real meat of this video is the fact that my apartment got broken into about two weeks ago. Two and a half weeks ago now. Um, also, there's a spot, <laughs> spot in my hair right here that's real short. And that's like my natural curl pattern. Uh... I accidentally cut my hair when I was taking out a crochet style and I was sick about it, but I have made peace with it now. So just pretend like it's not there. 
Um, my house got broken into on a Thursday a few weeks ago and my roommate came home first and sat down to watch TV and realized that the back door, the glass on the back door was broken. And so she immediately left and went to the apartment office and was like, hey girl, she called me and she was like, hey girl, our apartment got broken into. And I'm like, what? Like, I don't know how to process that because that's never happened to me before. I got my, in my brain, I just can't wrap my head around somebody violating my space in that way. So we called the sheriff's department. They took a while to come because, you know, it's a non-emergency after it happens. Um, waited for them to come. They assessed the situation. And of course they asked, what did they take? Well, first of all, I'm not going back into an apartment by myself after I know somebody's broken in. So I waited for the sheriff's department and I did not know what had been taken because I hadn't gone back in. So we walked around a little bit to see that a couple of laptops, tablet uh, had been stolen. And not only that, but to add insult to injury, the assholes took my laptop backpack to put everything in. Um, so what immediately went through my mind was like, yeah, I have locks on all my devices. So there's no way for them to be able to log in to use the device and then they can't reset the device because you have to log in for that and you have to have all of the um icloud passwords for that so these assholes basically broke in and stole some shit that they can't use it just can't be used so you violated my space you took my shit and you can't use my shit um i was mad i was big mad of course, I felt unsafe, you know, and I started thinking about all the safety measures that I could have taken to not prevent this because people going to do dumb shit, but um, to safeguard myself in a better way. And, you know, alarm system, video cameras, all those things I have now, but I didn't have at first. So we do the police report, you know, if they try to pawn it or whatever, they have serial numbers filed with the insurance. But part of me is like, for a person to do that, for a person to steal from me, break into my home when they think nobody's at home, um, risk their life because, you know, you can get shot up. Um, people got dogs, cameras, anything of that nature to defend themselves and keep their, you know, property safe so for a person to do that like what kind of life are you living what kind of issues are you dealing with to even have to do that and then probably was like fuck them i work hard you know i work really hard i don't steal from anybody and for them to attempt to steal from me or to steal from me it was either somebody i knew which makes it personal or somebody i don't know which makes it even worse because it's a random situation and the apartments can only do so much so you know having cameras having a gun having a dog um having um alarms you know all those things are helpful but they won't prevent a crash dummy from doing crash dummy shit um so that's where i am that's what happened i need to go grab a bigger comb and then i will let y'all see me flat iron his hair it's super thick and so it's hard to get through, but I'm getting through it. 2,000 years later. So I've stopped about 20 times because this is a tiring, daunting process. Uh, but it's getting done. I do like the length of my hair right now. I know that my ends need to be trimmed. Um, and I won't be flat ironing my hair anymore probably for another year so this is just for fun oopsie also recording on my phone because I don't have my macbook is the most annoying thing ever and it is just a reminder of the fact that some that somebody didn't want to work for what they wanted and they just stole my shit um if you've had an experience with a break-in, let me know below in the comments. I want to hear. Also, I'm sorry that you went through that. 
well, well, well. It feels good to know that even though my hair has heat damage, I'm not bald headed. I think I'm gonna wait another year or so before I relax my hair again. Maybe nine months. Because that new growth, when it's untouched by heat, it could just do what it does. And taking biotin and regular vitamins has really helped. So I'm getting ready to go trim my ends and um, then not flat iron or relax my hair for a long time. I still put too much oil in it though. It's all right. 